Hi, and welcome to day three of combining like terms. So today we're gonna to talk about what happens if we have positive and negative integers and we're combining like terms. So we're gonna go back to what do you do with positive and negative integers. So as you may recall, if they have the same signs, then we're adding. If we have the same signs, we're gonna add. If they have different signs, we're gonna subtract. And we keep the sign of the bigger digit. Okay, so you might wanna jot that down again if you don't have your notes from that. And let's look what, let's see what that looks like with an example. So here we have, there's our X's, our Y's, and here are our constants. So as you can see here, we have a negative four and a positive one for our X's. So we're gonna use our rules, different signs, subtract. So we're gonna subtract the four and the one, this invisible one that's right here with the X. So the difference between four and one is three. Keep the sign of the bigger digit, so that's the negative, and those are our x's. There's really nothing to do here with the negative three y, and then here, these are also um, integers. We have more, five, more negatives than we do positives, so we're gonna subtract, we get three, keep the sign of the bigger digit, which is five, so it's going to be negative three. I'm just going to slide that down a little bit. The sun is getting in there so that you can look at that. Okay, let's look at another example. Keep that out of the sun there. Okay, so there's our x's, there's our y's, and there are our constants. There's nothing to add to the x, so we'll keep that as 3x. These are both positive. So that will be plus 7y. And then this one, we you can see here that we've got negative 8 plus 2. Different signs subtract. The difference is 6. And keep the sign of the bigger digit, so it would be minus 6. Okay, and there's one more example that I would like to show here. So let's say we have negative 4x minus 2x plus 3y plus z. Okay, these are our x's, those are our y's, and there are our z's. These are both negative integers, same sign, add. So add the 4 and the 2, keep the sign. So that's negative 6x. And then these have nothing to add to them, so we just keep those. And there's your final answer. Okay, well, I hope that helps you out, and good luck in your lesson. Talk to you next time. Bye.